Hello everybody and welcome to today's Dead by Daylight Tide Talk. Today we'll be covering the history and meta of Decisive Strike as it has been one of the most controversial perks since its release. The meta-defining, game-breaking, godlike perk has brought both tears and laughter to the community. Players have mixed feelings on the perk as some side with it being a necessity, while others claim it to be something that has to be removed to restore balance. Today we'll explore the truth and find just how strong Strong, decisive Strike really is. Unlike previous Tide Talks, this perk doesn't begin at the release of the game. Instead, we find its origins within the release of the Halloween DLC. This would be the release of Dead by Daylight's first licensed chapter and give us some of the most game-changing perks we'll ever see, including the two new characters, Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. The patch 1.2.1, which would carry the new content, would feature the new obsession mechanic as well, which would allow special rules to take place. An obsession would only be picked if a perk or add-on that contained a rule for an obsession was active, otherwise no one would be an obsession. Due to this, you could figure out what types of perks the killer or survivor had based on seeing the obsession symbol appear. This was really only true for the obsession itself or the killer, as the other survivors would not see the symbol at all displayed on the HUD. This would later change later down the line, but this is more about decisive strike and not the obsession mechanic. One of the perks to use the Obsession rule is Decisive Strike, a teachable obtained from Lori Strode. Once per match, when being picked up by the killer, a skill check would appear. Successfully hit the skill check and the killer would drop the survivor and the killer would then be stunned for 5 seconds, missing the skill check and the perk would go on to be wasted. You did not need to be the Obsession for this perk to work, but it was likely you would become the Obsession. The implementation of this perk caused massive problems in balance, as this was the strongest perk in the game without question. Combine the effects of Decisive Strike with the incredibly strong Sabotage meta and the survivors were untouchable. If you haven't seen the Tide Talk on Saboteur, there'll be a link in the description for you to hear about the Sabotage meta. The only thing capable of contesting survivors at this point was the infamous machine gun build introduced by the introduction of Michael Myers, which allowed killers to attack at an alarming rate. The machine gun build consisted of Save the Best for Last and Unrelenting, which reduced the attack speed just a bit over 50%. The strength of these perks is a good discussion for another time, but it would be a combination that would see a quick nerf that took it out of the meta, leaving Decisive Strike uncontested as a godlike perk. Decisive Strike would go to be used by every survivor that could get their hands on the teachable. It would be such a rare occurrence if a survivor did not have it in a match. However, there happened to be hope for killers as they were able to drop a survivor after picking them up. This would come to be known as dribbling, where the killer could move a few feet and prevent a successful decisive strike. During this time, dropping a survivor would ultimately waste the perk due to a bug. Survivors would be pissed, but killers would find peace during this time, until they fixed it. It'd be a few months down the line that patch 1.3.0 would be released and the first changes to Decisive Strike would be had. First, the developers would have fixed the wasted perk issue, as dropping the survivors no longer consumed Decisive Strike. Instead, picking them back up would cause the skill check to happen again. Dribbling would continue to be a strategy, as it was deemed fair by the developers that the killer takes a risk in order to make the hook. Each time a killer would drop the survivor, the wiggle meter would be partially filled as a penalty to the killer. This means the killer would have a heavy limit on their mobility while trying to transport a survivor to a hook and risk the survivor jumping off their shoulders faster regardless of decisive strike or not. However, this dribbling strategy would be useful if the survivor was close enough to a hook as you could avoid the strike from happening at all. With the bug fixes, we also saw a minor nerf to the stun time, reducing it down from 5 seconds to 4. Even with the drop of stun time though, we actually saw survivors using this perk more often as they actually got to use it in the middle of a match since killers could no longer consume the perk with a dribble. The power of decisive strike was heard far and wide, and the devs realized their nerf was not enough. Developers went on holiday after the latest patch. They wouldn't return till early next year, but they got right to work when they did, and tried to find a way to fix the issue. Decisive Strike was a perk that was strong on just one survivor, and it could be used on all four survivors, which had such a massive impact to the point the player base was hemorrhaging hard. 
patch 1.4.0 would be released early in the new year of 2017. The perk itself didn't change an effect, but instead changed the effect only if you were not the obsession. If you were not the obsession, then you would have to wiggle the meter to 35% before you could get a skill check for it to take effect. This was a massive change and helped alleviate the problem a little bit, but it was not a solution. This new limitation did not sway survivors from playing the perk, as survivors were still capable of surprising the killer if they didn't hook the survivor as soon as possible. This helped to protect from being hooked in the basement, as you would be able to wiggle enough to get your skill check before you were placed in the lethal basement hook, ultimately punishing the killer for getting greedy. Patch 1.4.0 may have failed to fix the issue, but it did make an impact as survivors were using the perk slightly less. Trying to compete for the obsession was troublesome for some, and it was just better to swap to other perks such as adrenaline or anything else that would help you survive. Though others would still compete and still use it so much so that you still saw Decisive Strike at least once every match. With the current state of the game, Dead by Daylight would be at its lowest, as we would be at the peak of the dark times. It wouldn't be until patch 1.5.0 that developers began to search their way out of this troublesome time. Decisive Strike would remain untouched during the several fixes that came to Dead by Daylight. One of the massive changes was the removal of the Sabotage meta, which left survivors with less guaranteed victories. Decisive Strike would go to plague the game, being a dominant top tier perk for over two years. It wouldn't be until the most recent patch of 2.6.0 that Decisive Strike would finally receive an entire rework. Decisive Strike now starts the game as an inactive perk. When you're taken off the hook, either by an ally or yourself, the perk will then activate for 60 seconds. If a killer picks you up during this active time, then Decisive Strike will grant a skill check that will stun the killer and release the survivor as it always has. Many survivor players would be upset on the change, and several others would predict its removal from the meta. Some even saying that the perk is so useless now they might as well not play. But is that really the case? Where does the new Decisive Strike really fit in today's meta? Now that the perk was only working if a killer focuses a survivor off the hook, the ability to dribble was also removed as the skill check occurs during the animation of the pickup instead of when the killer is carrying them. The perk itself still makes a massive impact and can even catch a killer off guard if they don't pay attention bumping into a survivor who was saved off a hook. If a survivor pulls off a decisive strike, they will then become the obsession. I don't believe we'll see Decisive Strike leave the meta, but it's definitely lost its spot as the best perk in the game. Only time will tell if other perks overshadow Decisive Strike, but for now, it seems that players are content with its change and are still finding it as an effective perk to use in their builds to keep themselves alive. And that wraps up our talk for Decisive Strike. A once godlike perk found several changes through the years, but unlike other top perks, it's still very useful and hasn't lost its edge. So what about you? Did you get to experience Decisive Strike at its launch? Did you use it all the time? And were you one of the unfortunate killers to get Decisive Struck four times every game? Tell me your stories down below. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.